from you see the thumbnail the thumbnail you know what time it is nico leonard yes um watch expert I, I call him an expert because of the knowledge that he employs whenever he doing these um these type of videos but damn he did a reaction to um Rory cross's watch collection in a previous video and he said some things and uh, that looks like that prompted rick cross to respond so let's check this out it's gonna be funny because this dude he brings knowledge he brings entertainment and he brings a lot of jokes <laughs> so let's go and um from his thumbnail i can see that um it's probably about this watch this 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 watch that was in the previous video uh maybe i can clip it and put it put it in here so you know what it is by the way go check out the original check this out too links in the description yeah follow all of my socials all also let's get this and for the little fat guy in the one cubicle office speaking on watches ah. speaking on rick ross and his automir stay out of grown folks business little piglet get out of that one cubicle office and go and see the world hey y'all <laughs> <laughs> Yo, but this is his job though. His job is to speak on watches and know and be very knowledgeable about watches so that people his customers trust his customers trust trust him to know what he's talking about. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, yeah, I've been wanted this forever. I've been in the field with you know what? Yo, this, I don't know if that song is copyright. You might, uh, uh, you'll know if you hear it, you know? Ricky, you were right. I had to go out to see the world. This is not a bad cubicle, you know? <laughs> Repping a, a real Audemir. Last week I called out. <laughs> Audemir. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's it's, uh, it's Aud uh, Audemar Piguet or something like that. I, I don't know how to pronounce it. He, he knows how to pronounce them pronounce them fake ross for wearing a fake audemars piquet royal oak he responded yes. calling me a fat piglet piglet <laughs> but we'll get into that later i'm a nice guy i'm gonna give fake ross the benefit of the doubt and i'm gonna have a look at more of his watches make sure you subscribe to the channel now yo okay um uh, what e what even happened in that video I, I although i say you guys should go check it out um Rick Cross had a uh, 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 emerald Audemars Piquet Royal Oak. Well, that's what he said. That's what <laughs> Nico said it is. But you can't have one of them. You have to have the entire set and the entire set co with different color stones, you know. So, and there were two of two sets alone ever ever made. And Nico says he knows both the owners. Yeah. And if you want to buy or sell your watch, prideandpinion.com. Fake that, Ross. That's where you buy that a real watch. Yes. Rick Ross. <laughs> and that's his, that's his freaking, yo, that's his store. Fake yeah. boss or bet. Yeah, you can park in there. Yeah, perfect. No, there, in between. F*** the staff. It's hard to get staff nowadays. Can you be <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he is. He letting yo he let Ross know that yo <laughs> he can ball also. So just because you see my regular reacting set doesn't mean that yeah things ain't popping. So since you suggesting or got the impression that I am of a lower means than you, let me correct that for you. <laughs> Quiet. Me. Today I'm reacting to more watches of Rick Ross and I'm replying to his accusations about mm. me being a piglet. <laughs> I'm gonna see if Rick can redeem himself and see what else he has in his collection of... Well, who am I kidding? It's gonna be f sh He has f***ing diamonds everywhere. It's fake Ross. Anyway, we'll get to the video. Why is this... <laughs> why is this going on? <laughs> Oh, my hand is on it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, so-called billionaire's watch. Also not very hard to get, to be honest. Even I had that watch on my wrist. And this was supposed to be P. Shanique as well, right? So that actually means I wore that watch before you. So effectively, you have my DNA on your watch. 
Rick doesn't even own this watch. He's acting like he's the Billy Big Balls, and for sure he has a few quid, right? But <laughs> he doesn't even own that watch. Where is all this insecurity coming from? I thought yeah. you were the daddy. Constant <laughs> fake flexing, what's wrong with you? I mean, the watch is insane to be honest and same story as with the green emerald the green emerald ap is extremely difficult to produce not because the watch is difficult to produce but because of the rarity of the stones with yes. ab every single stone needs to be equal and it's hard to find stones of that size of that clarity of that quality all equal to each other and that's why it takes so long to produce one watch benjamin jacob's son actually told me that this watch took about two years to produce not because it was difficult to produce a watch but it is difficult to find find the exact matching stones there yeah. actually were times <laughs> that they had to stop yo and this is what i'm talking about this is what i'm talking about the dude has the knowledge to back up whatever he's saying and if he does not which is rare he goes and find out to make sure that he's bringing an accurate representation to the people that watch his content i'm telling you yo <sighs> And uh, the, dude, the dude is a, a, a comic, 100%. He will make jokes, he will roast you, all of that. Production, because they couldn't find any more stones. And the same is, of course, for the precious stone Royal Oaks. This is the reason why I made this video, is to clarify that Rick Ross doesn't own the real Emerald Royal Oak. It is actually someone else, and that's someone that I know. That Okay, okay, okay. Let me, let me bring that back. Let me own the real Emerald Royal Oak. It is actually someone... Okay. Photos sent to Nico of the real watch. So that right there, he got the he got he got the receipts right there from from the real owners, the the, uh, the the literal authentic owners of the watch. Yeah. What else? And that's someone that I know. That watch, that green emerald AP. There's currently only one in the world, and you were only able to get that watch when you bought it in a set of ten other watches. And that is what I was saying in the intro. Yes. He, this is what he was explaining. You have to buy the entire set. If you, if you, you can't just own one out of the set. And that is how it is. <laughs> that were all produced with different stones. To give you an idea, there's another set of 10 Royal Oaks being produced right now, but it's a year delayed because they cannot find the right stones. So why am I calling Rick Ross's Emerald AP fake? And this exact Rolex, custom or aftermarket. The Rolex that you see on this photo is not being produced. Rolex doesn't make this watch. There is not a watch in the Rolex category that resembles this day just. It is an aftermarket piece. Why do- Okay. An aftermarket is, is fake. They just use a different term to represent it. It's marketing. So yeah, you can only get that from a jeweler, which, they set the diamonds or ice it out them, themselves. Why do I call Rick Ross's green emerald watch fake and not aftermarket? Because it is actually built to replicate an extremely rare watch that AP has made. It is there to exact replicate that watch. This Rolex is aftermarket. That Rolex doesn't exist in the Rolex category. That AP does exist in the AP category. Rick Ross's green emerald AP replicates the actual watch Audemars Piquet actually produces. So that is a direct copy. There Therefore, we call that a fake watch or a replica. The watch is okay. Okay, that's okay. Okay, I, see, I get what he's saying. I get what he's saying. So, if it doesn't exist in the category, it can, it is considered aftermarket because it's not replicating order, making a copy of something that already exists. If it is, that is when they call it a fake, a repli a replica. Or a copy so once it is imitating something that already exists it's a fake okay then i get you i get you what he's wearing here it's just an aftermarket day just that is worth about 14k absolute max this is absolutely a piece of shit, but at least <laughs> it doesn't replicate a watch that rolex has in their catalog at least it's a aftermarket bullshit watch and just to <laughs> clarify this that royal oak is a fake bracelet a fake case a fake dial what is left on the watch a movement so 80 percent of that watch is fake by the way <laughs> with fake i mean not made by Audemars Piquet, but it bears the name Audemars Piquet. people yes. always underestimate yes. this guy rick ross imagine playing basketball in front of your very own private jet with your name on it right next to your supercars while wearing a i didn't know
Yes, it, it's a it's a flex. It's a flex, and uh, that dude is just glazing one hundred percent in that in that video. He made that video to flex. Yeah. Corvette was a supercar to be fair. Honestly, that jet is the bollocks, right? I'll give him that. The jet is the bollocks, but we can all lease that sh you know. $30,000 <laughs> watch. That is the Tiffany Dow Rolex Oyster Perpetual in stainless steel. That is a f belter of a watch to be fair. That's a f Tiffany OP. Discontinued. I like that watch. Don't think it's worth $30,000, but I do think it's worth about $20,000 nowadays. But I love that watch. That watch retailed at the time at like $7,000. Today it's discontinued and it's going for about 20. But I love that color. I think it's cool. And you see, this is him talking from the, the perspective of him buying that watch. That is at most what he would pay for it. And then he would try to sell it for a profit, you know? Or he would like um, barter the, uh, or um, haggle the price down. Yeah. Out here in Jamaica, we call it ball it down, ball down the price. But yeah. That is, that is what he was talking about. And uh, yo, out here in Jamaica, uh, yo, a lot of people don't even. Recently, they've been getting into the watch game with most of the artists out here. But back then, <laughs> they were talking about Invicta and um, Movado watches. Granted, yo, they look cool. So do so does some of the Jacob and Co. watches. They look cool. But that you can't call them chronographs. Yeah, which is another thing he likes to talk about. <laughs> yeah, you know? Yeah. It's a what makes it a, an outstanding watch is the the type of movement and how intricate the movement is inside it. And he's talking about something about um tour tourblion or something like that there. It might be complex, but you can just. It's, it's like a copy and paste, easy solution to make a, a watch seem complicated. He actually says something nice about Rick Ross's watches. Who would expect that? It's funny when you Google Rick Ross, he's like, who bought the $20 million watch? Question mark. Of course, Rick Ross bought that bunkers 20 million yellow gold yeah, Jacob and Co watch for billionaires. Don't believe the internet, kids. It's all a f lie. It's really important to understand how this world of social media works. Rick Ross is promoting Jacob and Co. He's a brand ambassador, but he doesn't yeah. put ad in his f tags. I actually think <laughs> in Europe it is a crime. I don't know. Officer Ricky's doing the dirty? Yeah, but Officer Ricky is always done dirty because his name is not even real. He sold that from an inmate. You know that. Rick Ross is not. I did not know that. I did not know that. <laughs> not called Rick Ross. What is his real name? Let me see. It's William or something. <laughs> like William. He looks like a William as well, by the way. Willie Faker. Willie Faker. Rick Ross was a prison guard, a prisoner guard. He was a he was a police officer. Yeah. And a I know that, but I didn't know who he. T I knew that, but I didn't know who he took his name from. A prison. And there was this character, this gangster called Rick Ross, and he stole his whole persona. I became a rapper. That's Rick Ross. Oh, here it is. You know what his name is? William Leonard. No, oh, it actually is. He's my brother. He's my brother. Holy f William Leonard. William Leonard. William Leonard. I honestly get lads. Like, his collection is absolutely pointless. Every single. Oh, there's a Frank Miller. You think you've had it all, Frank Miller? This guy doesn't have any watches. He just has diamonds. And for the yeah. little fat guy in the one <laughs> cubicle office speaking on watches, speaking on Rick Ross and his Audemir. <laughs> but yeah, um, uh, <laughs> that's funny. But yeah, yeah, he he has traveled the world. I'm telling you, he has he has to because he does watch business and he has to travel to go to the authentic owners of the watches to get that sale i'm telling you or to buy a watch it's unbelievable isn't it fat guy little piglet oh those emeralds are so rare such would be so hard for a black man to obtain such a rare time piece of the no 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 that's not the point. That's not the freaking angle the dude was going and you had to make it like that. Nah. Yo, these people are so fragile, bro. They are so fragile. It's not that a, 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 a black man can't get those 
it's he's stalking from pure fact that the quantity that was made that was originally produced and now he says that another set is being produced but it's been delayed so <laughs> it's gonna take an extra year because they can't find the quality of the stones to produce the set bro yeah and people yeah man you know john no star john no star <laughs> for real them, 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 them people yeah why did they have yo it, it doesn't need to even go there it the dude didn't even imply that did this guy seriously put the race card in bro what the f is wrong with you there's only one race it's human race shut up you f insecure c when did i say anything about your f skin color who gives a f you f scumbag simple feet for a boss for me it's just a I stay out of grown folks' business, little piglet. Get out of that one cubicle office and go and see the world. So I left my one cubicle office, I saw the world, and now I'm in a garage. And now I'm in my garage. <laughs> I can't f say that. I can't lie. Say dick. And that was a simple feat. There ain't no money. Huh? How the me? What's wrong with this guy? I'm piglet. Piglet. Hey, <laughs> huh? <laughs> that's a donkey yo what yo he's yo he's talking about freaking whoa well, uh, yo that <laughs> that disney series with winnie the pooh and all of that piglet and the freaking pig and rabbit and all of that stuff i mean <laughs> your <laughs> does this guy not even know the difference between a donkey and a piglet hey little piglet hey huh what a mother in a cubicle could say, hey, Rick, the Phantom's not real. Rick, it's not real. That was stolen. Shut the f up, Piglet. He honk. Oh, no, 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 we not finished. No, no, no. No. The STO, it's not the regular f Aventador. That's not, the, you see the wing? Why are we even making this video? Honestly, no, it's not it the regular make... Aventador. No, it's an SEO. Bro, this guy has two brain cells. <laughs> this guy has three brain cells. He's organizing this car show. He doesn't even know the difference between a Aventador and a Huracan. Honestly, lad, this is actually pathetic. Rick, you're a f***ing dick. Fake Ross, <laughs> I'm still awaiting my reply. Did you really buy a fake watch or did a dealer shaft you? Let's be open, the world wants to know. Give me the truth about your autonomy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, that was crazy. Yo, oh, that was easy content, bro. That was easy content. Yo, people, like and subscribe to the channel. Share the video and all of that stuff. I'll see you in that next one. Let me know what you think. And yo, this is the original video where he goes into... Um, It's a thing it normally does. He normally reacts to rappers' watch collection. And people that he have watch collections, he normally just... You know, checks checks them out, find out if anything fakes in it or if they got a real authentic watch collection. So yeah. I I, I like his content. You guys can go check it out. It's wolf. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, it take him ass. Let's get this. Let's get it. Links in the description, follow all of them. My socials. Yeah. <laughs>